we will welcome in Kyle Smith from the Palouse up in Pullman. And uh, Kyle, I don't know if you heard what Isaac said, but um, how much have you been able to create sort of your own bubble because you guys are a little bit more isolated? I didn't have to create it. <laughs> it's, it is a bubble. And it's and I and honestly, it's what uh, gives us a chance to be good in, in going back and studying the programs where they've been good. It's, there's a built-in culture. There's a built-in uh, awareness of each other and uh, community, um, and we've been able to handle that pretty well. I think we're kind of we're kind of year round in a bubble, and that sounds funny, but we we are a little bit isolated here, and also makes it unique, but also makes it a special college town and uh, a great college atmosphere. So, look, Isaac also mentioned um, that look, every state, every county could potentially have different rules. Uh, you guys were able to work out earlier than a lot of other schools on the West coast. Uh, what kind of advantage could that be for you? You know, I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll see. It's going to be a great litmus test to see how much the year round <laughs> stuff is matters. If, uh, if we play and everyone's the same or other teams are better, but um, you know, it was, it was weird a little bit. We didn't really get to do much for six weeks. It was really just, you know, one ball, one basket. Um, but they're on the lift and, and, uh, but hopefully, I mean, my first thought was like, you know, I don't know how it's going to impact, but hopefully we can stay healthy and, and be disciplined about staying COVID free. And maybe we can, uh, and we get to the season, maybe we can make a move because of that. And then if you may, we may we're able to pass some teams and maybe don't look back. That's the goal. But it, it obviously could be advantage since we've had a decent amount of time. All right. So 16 wins. Uh, everything is looking up. Uh, you did lose CJ. Uh, how do you ensure that that uh, momentum continues? And just got to do what we've been doing. Uh, you know, this is third time I've had to start up a program. And year two's have been a little bit, there's been a little dip, and I'm trying to avoid that. It's just a little bit of the, because um, we're young. I think we're no, no more function than that. Just in, And obviously would like to keep CJ and kind of keep that momentum, keep your, get older and, and keep that talent. But uh, just staying Staying with what we do, I feel good about the team, but I always say if you don't feel good about your team this time of year, you, you need to quit. Uh, so I like our guys. We're doing well. Um, it's just inexperienced. But, uh, you know, there's we've started a lot of different lineups. So some guys have started games and stuff like that. But replacing, uh, finding that uh, we're not going to have that same lead score or guy that's really uh, taking going for it every night. Um, so I always tell our team, I said, our, our best score needs to be our offense. We need to be more efficient there and be be a little more balanced and, and play the right way, I guess, is the best way to put it. All right. By the time we get to league play, what do you hope this team's identity will be? I hope it would stick with the same thing as being able to be tough, defend, rebound, take care of the ball. That's our mantra. We, the league starts December 2nd, Andy, so it's right around the corner. Uh but build on those things because I think we made big, strong gains there. But I'm trying. That's what I said. We add an extra layer, and we've really been we tweak some things offensively. I heard Isaac mention that a little bit, and trying to be more efficient there. We just weren't an efficient offensive team, so we're uh, the identity's got to remain there because those are non-negotiables. Being competitive and then improve our offensive efficiency. So we're people have to scout us this year. That's the goal. I know there wasn't a lot of, they didn't have to scout us much. So it's like, we're going to have to run some stuff where people are going to have to take some time and prepare for us a little better. All right. Last thing before I turn it over to Jesse, you mentioned it starts December 2nd, uh, but no scrimmage against another opponent, no exhibition games. Uh, you do have new pieces. How will that affect you? A lot. I see because a big part of the uh, art system or hustle stats, nerd ball stuff is like, usually we we're, uh, tinkering first two we always play two exhibit or not exhibitions we play two scrimmages um and just because it doesn't always spit out the best lineup that plays together so we like you know like to move it around a little bit but we're not this year and we're going right into games and like i said the third game of the year is a, a pack 12 game um so everything's a little different playing a game a conference game that early so it'll affect us but i, I will manage our way through it and we'll we'll, we'll we'll do well but I, I like the way the groups competing against each other